The man with no face, a slenderman tail. In a small town, there were stories that circulated about a tall, faceless figure that lurked in the shadows. Children whispered about him at school. Parents spoke about him in hushed tones at dinner tables. But nobody dared to speak his name, for fear that he may hear them. The locals called him, the man with no face, and they believed he was responsible for the disappearance of several townspeople. Some say he was a ghost, others say he was a demon, but all agreed that he was an ever-present danger. One day, two young boys, Jack and Mike, decided to venture deep into the woods. The boys were not afraid of the man with no face, they said, and wanted to prove that he didn't exist. As they walked through the dense forest, the trees grew thicker and the shadows grew longer. Suddenly, Jack and Mike heard a faint rustling in the brush. They looked at each other nervously and began to walk faster. But the rustling grew louder, and they quickened their pace. Just as they thought they had outrun whatever was following them, they heard a shrill, inhuman scream and the sound of leaves crunching beneath heavy footsteps. The boys turned and saw him, the man with no face, towering above them. His long arms dangled by his sides, and his body was so thin it looked as though he could snap in half at any moment. His face was completely blank, with no features to speak of. The boys turned and ran as fast as they could, but the man with no face was faster. He chased them through the woods, as they tripped over tree roots and stumbled over rocks. Just when they thought they had escaped, they turned around to see him looming ahead of them again. The man with no face had toyed with them, leading them in circles through the woods. Eventually, they collapsed at the base of a tree, too exhausted to move. The man with no face stood before them, motionless. Seconds turned into minutes, and minutes turned into hours. The boys sat frozen, too terrified to move. Eventually, though, they realized that the man with no face had left them alone. They got up and ran toward the road, and when they reached civilization, they never went back to the woods again. To this very day, people in the town still whisper about the man with no face and wonder what might have happened to those who didn't escape his grasp.